Hey guys, happy Sunday. It is Sunday, so that means that it is grocery day. Um, I decided to go a little early to beat, number one, the church crowds, and then number two, the uh, Memorial Day crowds. Tomorrow is Memorial Day Monday, so I know that there will probably be plenty of people there buying all kinds of stuff for like their barbecues. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys really quick what I ended up getting. I went to HEB twice on accident, and then I went to Costco. So just wanted to show you guys what I picked up and what my plans are for these items in the week. All right, so as you can see, these are the items that I picked up, not that much stuff. So for breakfast, I, these are my go-to, the real egg whites from HEB. Um, I could have bought uh, the bulk egg whites from Costco, but this is why I like the HEB real egg whites. For the serving size, they have the least amount of calories um, compared to any other egg white brands that I have found. If you have found um, a better product, please let me know. So for one fourth of a cup, it is 25 calories. I normally eat about half a cup every morning. So that's 50 calories and then 10 grams of protein if you do the math there. I normally pair this with um, oatmeal like I showed you guys in my I think two videos ago, um, the kind of oatmeal that I like to eat, the instant ones or the instant steel cut oats. And if not oatmeal, I will eat probably like two pieces of the Ezekiel cinnamon raisin bread. So that's breakfast. As far as lunch this week, I think I'm gonna do zucchini spaghetti. So I have my zucchinis here. I have Prego fresh mushroom. This is like my favorite um, sauce to use. I'll normally use about a third a cup of this. So for half a cup, it's 70 calories, uh, two grams of protein, 13 grams of carbs. Sodium's kind of high, so yeah, just gotta watch out for that. And then I have here the uh, ground turkey breast, 99% lean. I'll combine this with the Prego, and then um, I have my zucchini noodle maker, so I'll just use that one. And then as far as snacks, I have some Gala apples here that I picked up from Costco. Uh, I've never tried this Dannon Oikos Triple Zero before, but I got this from Costco. They have uh, mixed berry, strawberry, and peach. It looks like they have six flavors, uh, or they have six cartons of each flavor. So it shows here for the packages and it breaks it down by flavors. It is zero grams of fat, 120 calories um, for each flavor, for each carton, and then 15 grams of protein. I decided to go with this one because um, even though it had the same amount of calories as the Chobani Greek yogurt, 120 uh, per package, the Chobani Greek yogurt only had 12 grams of protein and this one is 15 grams of protein. So decided to go with this one. I'll uh, see how I like it and if I do like it, then I'll probably stick to this. Of course, I had to pick up my pop chips. These are my go-to. I did try the sour cream and onion flavor last week and I was not a fan. Oh, I also tried the, I think it was like a sour cream cheddar. Not a fan of it. So I'm just gonna stick to the sea salt, stick to what I know. Um, also snacks. These are actually not mine. <laughs> Picked up some blackberries from Costco. Um, as far as dinner goes, I think I'm gonna do these chicken skewers that I picked up from Costco. I think this whole thing was like 11 bucks. If you turn it around and look at the nutritional facts, uh, for two skewers, it's 150 calories, 24 grams of protein, which is pretty good, and four grams of fat. So I think I'm gonna pair these with some brown rice and probably do a, a zucchini or asparagus. It depends, but we'll see. So that'll be dinner this week. And then I picked up some sriracha hot chili sauce to go with that. I think it'll pair really well with uh, the chicken skewers, brown rice, and most likely zucchini noodles. Um, also picked up some kimchi. Um, I love kimchi. If you guys don't know what it is, it's basically fermented cabbage. Um, yeah goes well with pretty much any type of protein and rice. So I picked this up from HEB. And of course, gotta have my gum. Gum actually curves my appetite. I know that there are people that say that gum actually makes them hungry, but um, it curves the appetite for me. So that's why I picked up three of these. I tried to get sugar-free, but the only option that my grocery store had was this sugar-free one in this flavor only. The other two are not. Less than five calories per stick in each of the packages, so uh, can't complain there. 
All right, so I just finished putting up my groceries and I'm about to make some breakfast because I haven't eaten and it is around 11.22 in the morning and I'm starving. So I think I'm gonna do egg whites and probably oatmeal. So I'm gonna prep that now and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Else, girl, let me know. Cause I love the way you are. But you won't let down your guard. And I need you to just go. So another reason why egg whites are my go-to in the morning is because they're really quick and easy to make. They literally cook in less than two minutes. They have a great amount of protein and they're low calorie. So as you can see here, I have my half a cup of egg whites and I sprinkled a little bit of sriracha on top of that. And then I have my oats here. It's grub time. All right guys, so now that breakfast is nice and digested, I am about to head to the gym. I think I'm gonna work out shoulders for you guys. I have not done a shoulder video in a while, so we'll see what I come up with. I'll see y'all at the gym. All right, so y'all know I love my supersets. They make my workouts go by so much faster and that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm gonna start out with your standard dumbbell shoulder presses. I did 10 to 12 reps of the presses, then superset them with front raises using one of the dumbbells. I got anywhere between eight to 10 reps of the front dumbbell raises and did a total of four rounds of this superset. If you lose me because I'm speaking too fast, this entire workout will be posted in the description box below, so check it out. I need you to just oh. So up next is yet another superset. I'm starting out with seated alternating lateral and front raises. I did 12 reps of the dumbbell raises. Uh, doing these seated is way more challenging to me than standing, so I encourage you to try them this way. Afterwards, I went straight into upright rows. You can either do upright rows with an easy bar like you see here, or if one isn't available, just use dumbbells. When using dumbbells, just make sure that you're keeping your hands leveled and you're controlling your movements to be nice and steady. You wanna bring your elbows up to form kind of like a V with your arms uh, to really target your shoulders. I did 10 reps of these upright rows and a total of four rounds for this superset. Open up for tonight. All right, so up next, I decided to switch it up mid-workout with overhead cable tricep extensions. Along with triceps, this movement also requires you to use your lats and your delts, so you really can't go wrong here. Make sure that your upper body is laying slightly forward, keeping most of your weight on that leg in front of you for balance. I did four sets of these, 10 reps each set. I give you my love. For my next movement, I did military press. I haven't done these in forever. I just stuck to using a 45 pound straight bar. That was more than enough for me. When I do these, I always make it a point to let the bar drop right below my chin and push straight up. I did four sets of these as well, 10 reps each set. So after my military press, I wanted to work biceps. So with a 15 pound dumbbell, I did bicep curls. Okay, actually encouraged me to try them this way. I positioned my elbow on the inner part of my lower thigh, like kind of right near my knee for support. Drop your hand to bring the weight up and curl that dumbbell to feel the pump in your bicep. I did four sets per arm, getting 10 reps per set. I wanna love you. I sing it aloud. A baby, I'm floating this door. Hey guys, it's up. So it's a little bit later on in the day. It's around five o'clock actually on the dot. And Oge and I are getting ready to go to True Foods Kitchen. I think that's what it's called, True Food Kitchen. Um, I've heard great things about it, just like everything else that I always try. I always like to get opinions from other people or I'll look on Yelp. Um, Oge's actually been there before. I think he said that he got like the turkey burger or something like that. I know it's supposed to be like a healthy restaurant. So I think right now, as of right now, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get some type of salad. Um, I'll see what the menu has to offer and I may change my mind. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing really quick. I tied my hair because y'all, it's so humid in Houston. Like over the past three days, it's been overwhelming. Like humidity is normal, Houston, you know, people know that it's humid here, but it has been overwhelmingly humid. Like you step outside and it's just, it's just like a, a blanket of just steam just like overcomes you. It's it's terrible. So me having my hair straight or trying to do anything would be a total fail. So right now it's in this like low bun little mabobber. 
as you can see. Um, I'm obsessed with this choker. Shout out to Hannah for giving me this choker. Um, it was really, really sweet of her to do that, and it's honestly one of my favorite accessories that I have. So yeah, let me show you guys really quick what I am wearing, and then, um, or what I threw together. Like 98% of the time I'm in workout clothes. They're comfortable and it holds me accountable. If I'm in workout clothes, it makes it that much easier for me to just go to the gym. Okay, so you can barely see. I need better lighting in this room of mine, but um, it's just this little collared shirt. I think I got this from Urban Outfitters. Um, and then the choker that I showed y'all and then just some black leggings. My favorite pair of black leggings. I got these from H&M for like, gosh, maybe like 20 bucks. So that's what I'm wearing, super simple and casual and whatever, so. Anyway, I'm hungry and Oge's here, so I will see you guys at True Food Kitchen. I'm coming down And the heart's beating time You can feel like we escaped to My salad that I got was really good. I literally barely put a dent in it, but it was very, very filling. Um, the service was subpar, but I think the food made up for it. I'd probably come back because of the food. Um, I'm probably gonna end up bringing Annalise and Christina back here next weekend because they're coming in town to visit for a fitness expo. Okay guys, like I mentioned in the last clip, I have some exciting things I'll be filming next weekend, so stay tuned. But this is where this vlog ends. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. What we chase the light, it's a fantasy, waiting here come the light.